Stop recording and start recording. Now we're good. Thanks. See, it's early. It's early. We're still working on it. So what's going on, YouTube? We missed the first match because I'm a big dum-dum and I had my sponsorship stream up, screen up. We're playing against Grixis Delver, and my opponent kind of just got, like, land screwed because the wasteland. And then, like, Abrupt Decay just kind of handled the game. All right, we're going to keep this. Hope we don't see, like, a turn one Shaman. I'm so scared of Deathrite Shaman. This card's so obnoxious. Like, I've, I've, I don't play a lot of Legacy. Um, the only amount of Legacy that I've really played was I top 64 an SCG tournament. It was, like, my first time that I've ever played Legacy with Brainstorm, or the Brainstorm deck. Like, I played, I played like, Jund one time. And we kept their hand. And, uh, like, it was just because of this card. Like, this card's that obnoxious. I, had, I played against so many combo decks, and I just went, like, turn one Shaman, then turn two him Wasteland, a combo deck, and, like, they just didn't have a chance. It was just a one-sided beating. Gonna fix their smooth out their mulligan a little bit. Good hey boy. I want to ask this to the chat. I might add a plug into this as well. Might do like a straw poll. They chose to not shuffle. And we're just going to go Underground Sea Shaman. It's going to suck if he's got like Day's Wasteland. But like, such is life. My opponent's duels are cooler than mine. That's cool that they say that the, the artist on those duels. So now the pressure's on him a little bit. Like, we've got, you know, we've got the... We could have the turn two true name. Which I'll probably just jam. It's kind of like Days or Bust. Or Force Will or Bust. Alright, there's Delverino. I would like to draw my own backup to it. But I do think that I want to just get this Delver, get this true name into play. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go for it. Blue. we can handle this. Okay, they flipped to a brainstorm, which is a good flip. But they, they knew that was going to happen from their ponder. At least I think. Lightning bolt diabolic edict and I would throw up. Absolutely vomit. <laughs> this card's like... Oh man, this card's just like so like busted against half the format. Like half the this is why I started playing this card because like so I was probably losing I was probably only winning about forty to forty two percent or you know forty thirty five percent somewhere there of my against Grixis Delver because they would just land this card and they would somehow like the game we would because I've got so many so much good removal I would take care of their Delvers take care of the young pyromancers take care of their um, Deathrite Shamans and then all of a sudden they would just land this or a Gurmag Angler. So that's why I went up to two edicts on my board and put two of these in my main deck. And I really like Liliana the Last Hope in this deck, but I was just like, I want two veils just to be able to have four edict effects against this deck if I want it. So 
So I think I'm going to start with a ponder, because I kind of like all the cards in my hand. Is my opponent going to TNN me? King Pyro. Okay. All right, so let's start with a ponder. All right, I don't want any of these. I would like to shuffle. All right, that's not bad. So I can start to waste them off Valk. Or I can go like Get in here with this nemesis. Alternatively, I could just hold up and do nothing. Like if he cracks this, try to like try to get him with this diabolic edict. Should probably upkeep, hit his Valk to just try to induce a little action from him, but that may maybe that means that my my card gets dazed. If my opponent attacks with a Pyromancer, I think I'm gonna block it. I think I'm in a situation where I can just afford to trade this for this if the option presents itself. I just need to get to a point where this edict works. Each one of us are taking five a turn. Hey, Archmage, how you doing? Going for a ride. There's the little guy sleeping. make black. He's a cutie for sure. Oh, just for today. Brainstorm, okay? Yeah, I haven't been on in a little while either because work's just been pretty intense. So we're going to get one of these. And then we're going to have to probably... We're probably just going to name Brainstorm. with, Or we're just going to brainstorm after this therapy is done. I need to find a way to kill one of these two things. Because we're going to take five... Yeah, we're going to definitely play more modern, but I just wanted to play some Death Shadow. Or I wanted to play some Delver. Why are you awake? I'm always up this early. Okay, so that resolves. He sacks his token. And now I brainstorm. I thought you were supposed to board out Cabal Therapies in this matchup. Okay, so that's our ticket to Paradise. So I'm going to hide, I'm going to leave the days, and I'm going to hide Brainstorm Liliana, and then we'll let this resolve. Cool. 
go back to sleep. What did he name? He named Ponder. Okay, so we got a Ponder. And now he probably takes like Delver. Night and morning streams are wearing me out. Yep. You want to wake by 6 a.m. Are you really a member of society? For real. Archmage with the with the facts. So we'll let this go. <clears throat> he probably names Delver. And then I'm going to tick up on this pyro. Okay. Take five. But then this last help's going to do some work. Exactly. That's how the this is how the married man gets his games in. I'm going to take up on this. I'm going to turn off my auto yields just in case he does something here at Wasteland. That is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. I wonder if you should even use it, because, like, I don't know when you're supposed to use Wasteland and not, because, you know, each one of us have our mana developed so much, like, he's, he probably wants, like, as much mana as he can, because he could go, like, true name in a Gurmag Angler or something like that. I'm definitely just going to Liliana and get this. Then we can go block to, he just does my Wasteland, okay. That is A-OK -okay with me. Then we're going to hope this doesn't get forced. And I'm just going to get rid of this. And then I'm going to attack with the true name. Oh, well, if I leave the true name back, he just bolts. Yeah. So I think I have a cantrip underneath my Liliana. So next turn we're gonna be cantripping. So he's like a li lightning bolt kills death right shaman, and then he can use both of these to kill Liliana, but then that buys us another turn. This could be like a diabolic edict. Okay, so he gets the Liliana off the board. But now we are pondering on this turn. Looking for just any kind of threat. Oh, we're brainstorming. That's gas. All right, so let's put this under this, attack with our true name, decay this, next turn go Goyf Delver, then flip our Delver. It's uh, Bug Delver. I, I got the stream decker up there, Scott. And we're like very far ahead in the race. I could have played my Tarmogoyf to not get Diabolic Edict, but if my opponent edicts my true name, as long as they don't land their own true name, I should be in good shape. If they, if they land, like two out of the last three cards are Edict true name, then I'm in a little trouble. But even if they have a true name nemesis, my Delver's gonna flip and fly over the top of it, and my Tarma Wife's huge. Delver, okay. Ponder, so their Delver's gonna flip. This card is just so demoralizing to lose to. It just sits there and like doesn't do anything, just attacks and ends the game. Ok, 
get in with this. They chose to not shuffle also. And we're gonna play this first because we would we don't want to get this Tarmogoyf dazed. Well, they could have. They, I could have shuffled it away. Oh, so now they're shuffling their card away. Oh, they don't like Marsh casualties me. They have to know that the Daze is on top of my deck now. And then a Delver didn't flip, which is brutal. Then our Delver's gonna flip. All right, that's game. Because our Delver flips, they can't block either of these. And attack with everybody. All right. Good start to the day. Old 2 0 win over Grixis Delver. I don't know if this deck has is a good Grixis Delver matchup or not. Like I think that I've added the True Name Nemesis and the extra removal spells makes me a good against that deck, but I don't I don't really know. I do like this deck a lot. It's kind of like right it's kind of right in my wheelhouse. I, made, I put out this awesome tweet this morning. You guys should check this out. I have this sweet mug that's called the Dog Father that one of my friends gave to me. And I did this this morning. That was pretty awesome. Joke Lamb. Joke Lamb. Weird name. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. We have Force of Will and Days with a Delver. So hopefully we're playing against a combo deck. This hand's pretty good against a combo deck. We can go like Delver, Days, Force. We have Force, probably pitch Brainstorm. They Mulligan, which is sweet. They cat. They're still on six. I think I'm gonna get some more coffee. So they went to five and put a card on top, which that sucks. Oh, we're playing against Burn. So now I gotta flip this Delver. I think I'm playing against Burn, or like a. That's probably a good draw. So now I'm probably gonna brainstorm my upkeep. I think it's probably pretty important to get this Delver to flip. Maybe I should have got Trop Island. Simeon Spirit Guide. Return this. Pupper doesn't even know he's famous. Well, he is famous. Days that. Oh, and they concede. We would have flipped the Delver, which is sweet. Okay, so we're playing it's like the mono red. Stompy deck, I guess. So I probably want this. Probably want Thought Seizes. Want my Decay. This is like a sneak attack deck, right? Cards that are bad. True Name is probably bad. Him is probably fine. Fatal Push is bad. Um, probably just want like a Surgical. Like, it's not good, but... I don't really know what else. Like, this is probably not good either. I could just bring in three surgicals and then try to like 
deal with their first thing and then surgical it away. Maybe I could even board out a land and then bring in a fluster storm because we're cutting all our three drops. Mono red, it's mono red middle fingers. I don't know how I'm supposed to sideboard against this deck. Like, it's three, it's all four of my decays too much because I'm sure that they have Blood Moon. I'm sure they have Blood Moon and Chalice, so I feel like this card's great. And I have Forces and Davis, and I got three Surgicals, so if I can deal with something that can remove an element from their deck. Goals are turn one Chalice Moon. So I probably just mulligan to a Force. Yeah, so I'm gonna ship this hand. This hand is no good. I don't understand why people play this deck. Like, like was that fun? You know, like, did my opponent have fun doing that? Because, like, they played two turns of magic and then they were done. You know, is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, I don't think we can keep this. All right. Maybe I should board out. I probably should board out Wasteland. So we're kind of hope our opponent blows their wad, and that we can maybe waste something. Or they might play a City of Traders. crossing our fingers. At least now if we draw uh, land, we can even play Tarmogoyf through Chalice. But they could just moon us. Merchant, search your library for a goblin permanent and put it onto the battlefield. Hmm. I wonder what this does. Ancient Tomb. Okay, that's scary. I'm not gonna force, I'm not gonna hit this yet because if I draw a land, I definitely wanna be able to play my Tarmogoyf next turn. I'm gonna need it in order to get around this thing. So yeah, I'm definitely boarding out my wasteland, leaving my trop in. That was stupid. But things you learn. Alright, we'll pass. So we're gonna get hit for four, we're gonna hit for six. This Rabble is just gonna get out of control. We're good. We don't need to play against two of these. Okay. Yep, we are done here. Okay. So do I want these casualties? What would I, what would I sideboard out for these marsh casualties? Maybe these surgicals aren't good. And the casualties at least can clean up Goblin Rabble Master, which appears to be their, their number one plan. Fluster Storm doesn't seem good. That was probably stupid. I'll bring in one Surgical. I have four Decays. I don't think I want Fatal Push. So yeah, we'll go like this. Barbie with the excellent commentating. Would you like to play first? Yes. Yeah, I think I forgot a Mulligan. Sand just doesn't do anything. All right, this hand's much better. Put a daze on top. I think I want to put this on the... It gives me extra insurance, but I think I want to just be more proactive. So I'm going to put this on the bottom. I'm going to look for something to do. Plus, I want to be able to use my abrupt decay. So actually, this marsh casualties doesn't really do what I want it to do because I can't cast this for its kicker cost. So it's probably stupid for me to bring this in. You live and you learn. I 
I wonder if I'm supposed to force on one or daze. Because, like, they could have some Simeon Spirit Guide. If it's a Blood Moon, I'll probably force it. If it's a Chalice, I don't think I'm going to force it. I think I'll just try to daze it. <sighs> Still waking up this morning. I hope everybody else is having a good start to their day. Chromebox. You got it. What are you imprinting, sir? Magus of the Moon. So that means they have more of these. That's sad. Human. Karizev can't be countered. Okay. That's a good draw. The old shaman. Hopefully we don't get Magus of the Moon here. Take three off of this. Because like Magus of the Moon's just game. Let's have my Hydro Blast. If the only thing didn't have menace, I could block it. And then we just bounce, save myself a damage every turn. Alright, exile your token. Is this a human? Jeez. Okay. So I'm gonna be working overtime here. I need like a fetch land. Two red, red, attack blocking. If you control, whenever, whenever. So how do we do this? Whenever you start attacking, whenever. Oh, this needs the other one in order to get out of this. Okay. I don't think we're gonna win this game. I think I'm in. I think I'm in a decent amount of trouble here. I need, I'm gonna need like a Tarmogoyf in order to. Or if I can just get another land, then I can start just decaying things. I can eat one of these, take two. I'm going to take six. As long as I find a Goyf, I'm in good shape. This Marsh Casualties is going to have text. Kind of. Ooh, I can't even block these. There are two ones. Oh, no. Two, four, six. Okay, so I need I need an abrupt decay. I need I need green mana. I can do that through Deathrite Shaman. I'll probably decay this and then decay this. Passing, okay. Jeez. Alright, I mean, I can't take this home. Just use this while I can and save myself a point of damage. This is unfortunate. So I take six, hopefully decay this, take three, decay again. If I draw if I draw land, then I'm in good shape. Because I'm gonna take six, go to five, decay go to three. Deck's great at trolling me. <laughs> it's good to play against. I've never played against this deck before, so I don't really know what it does. If I draw a green source and I get one of these creatures in the graveyard, I can gain some life. So K 
okay this, next turn block this, take three, go to two. So it's all about finding a land here. If it's a fetch land, we get to double decay, which would be gas. Unless my opponent has a Hydroblast would also be good. So my opponent moons me. Which I don't know, I don't imagine what their hand could be. They're probably worried about playing a land, because if they play a land, this gets into the graveyard and makes so I can do stuff with my Death Rite Shaman. Dude, Kari's F's beat me up right now. Dog's tired. He's always tired though. He sleeps like 16 hours a day, 18 hours a day. We took on a big walk yesterday. Like, he was, he was beat. Now I can't, now I have to draw an untapped. I need to try like buy you in order to get through this. Underground C. Block, nope, he's got it. What was that, pal? What was that? Got me. Oh, there it was, for the troll factor. All right, jump back into it. That's sad. I got your rope. I got your rope. Nice part about this rope is I can just hold this here, then he bites it. Oh, he doesn't like fight the energy. He's, he's jet bushing it. All right, I would like to lead off. Yeah, we have ponders and days, so I'm gonna keep this. Hopefully, we don't get turn one. Definitely dazing a death ray shaman. Brainstorm, brainstorm, tarmogoyf. Yeah, I like all of these. So let's go hide the tarmogoyf. Draw brainstorm and pass. More than likely just playing Tarma Wife next turn, not doing anything else. Is my music on? It is. Nice. Oh, down goes Philly. I'll probably take Philly out in between um, rounds. Yeah, I think we're doing all that. That's good. We're just going to get our Tarma Wife down. Shuffle away one of our Brainstorms. If I daze that, they can daze me back, and it still resolves and sets me back a land. If I play this, then they daze it. I can daze them back. I can do something like, if I find a fatal push, I can go like, brainstorm, push, wasteland. Force of GW. Hopefully we can get maneuver this game into a position where this force of will trades. This days gets naps this force of will. Heck no. No. No chewing. We're definitely having struggles when it comes to chewing with the old Philly boy. He's got a fail push. We're playing for the Bug Delver Mirror. Alright, so let's brainstorm. Okay. That's pretty good. So let's put this back and this back.
Ooh, I messed up. Yeah, I messed up for sure here. Yeah, this was very stupid. This was super dumb on my part. Because now he forces. Okay. Days. And then we waste this. I probably should have done that on his upkeep in case he has a stifle. It's not the end of the world. Like, we're drawing a Tarmogoyf and we have a Ponder and they only have three cards and we have a Death Ray Challenge, but I definitely messed up my sequencing there. I don't want to see, like, no Delver. Okay. Yeah, I definitely messed up here. Which is good to know. Alright, let's go there. It's probably shuffling away this days. Okay, so all of these are good, but they're not... Fetch here. I'll get a drop. And then ponder. Okay, fatal push is good. Still don't have an answer to this Delver flipping. If they go to crack, I'm gonna do this in their upkeep. And if they go to like crack this, then I'll do it now. Let's see what they got. Don't flip, come on. Nice. Get this before this fetch land resolves. They didn't float. Should have under, I should have got my underground sea. This is a mistake from our opponent. They just didn't float mana. Yeah. They're saying in the chat I messed that up. I've been up for 51 minutes. Probably after this match, I'm going to go take Philly for a walk. Quick one. It won't take too long. All right. That's a big boy. Philly. Hey. What are you doing over there? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come over here, bud. Take his face toy. Okay, so he hits me for one. Then I go Tarmogoyf Death Right. I believe I know my top cards. So now I think I actually go Tarmogoyf Delver, so that my Delver can hopefully flip. I'd rather get this Delver Dazed than the Goyf Dazed. His last card could easily be something like Abrupt Decay. I'm just going to hope this doesn't flip. Don't flip. No flip. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to trade here if I can. He doesn't let me do that. Okay. We're going to find a way to kill this Tarmogoyf. We got it going on. He gets to have an extra look. No, that's sad. So now, if this Tarmogoyf... If this flips, I have to jump here. But let's hope that it doesn't flip. So I don't have to chomp. But if it does, then we're in a lot of trouble. I 
Doesn't look like it's flipping. Nope, nice. It's good for the home team. So I don't think I'm gonna block now. Really now. No biting, buddy. That's bad. Because now he goes and eats this. I take four. I don't really know how I get out of this. I need to like push this. This thing's just like absolutely bonkers at the moment. Yeah, we're dead. Pack him up. Oh, there's our veil. Okay, so in the mirror, I want my decays. I want edicts. Last hope. I think that's it. I don't think I want Marsh casualties unless I see true names from them. I don't want hymns. Um, I don't really want surgicals, or I don't want forces. I could bring in a fluster storm. I don't think I want that many forces, though. Like we have so many like high impact planeswalkers that are just really great to force through. Could see trimming like one more force for a fluster storm. Fluster storm doesn't answer like the planeswalkers though, so I don't want too many of them. I think we're gonna go like this. Fluster storm is a great card to fight with, but it's not a good card to initiate with. First, nope, we gotta ship this. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. I'm gonna put this on top because we're gonna fetch no matter what. Get this Delverino down. Then we're gonna flip this sucker. The next time I can like set it up and fatal push. Like if I have a death right shaman, I can push it. I actually can double push, which is sweet. So even if they try to like force it, we're still in good shape. So yeah, if you're on YouTube watching this, I'm gonna be breaking up my stream a little bit today because I need to take Philly out. Said. All right, so let's play this. Push this guy. Ponder. Um. I think I'm gonna draw the push. Flip my Delver to Flusterstorm, put Tarnawaif underneath it. Because I don't want to get my Flusterstorm hemmed out of my hand. I don't want the Tarnawaif hemmed out of my hand, and I want to flip Delver. So we're going to go like this. I guess we can't get him next turn, so I shouldn't worry about that. And they probably board out hymns in the mirror anyways. I found that like the hymns have just not been very good in the Delver mirrors, which is why I've only got three, because there's just so many Delver decks around here. So next turn we get to land Tarmogoyf with Flusterstorm back up, which is gas. Now I'm actually just going to kill his time of life. Oh no, time of life's underneath it. Duh. I'm not going to play my Bayou because I don't want him to waste my green source. 
then I'm going to push this on his upkeep. What do you got, man? Ponderosa, okay. We're not gonna fight over that. I'd much rather use this to fight with Tarmogoyf next turn. Lot there from the Philly boy. From the old filibuster. They chose to not shuffle. Delver. Alright, I'm gonna push this. Now because I'm going to cast Harm of Life next turn, like, for sure. <laughs> Just playing the Delver game. Trinity Nemesis for my opponent would suck. They can't cast Tombstalker unless they get another. Tombstalker would mess me up here pretty good. Because they could delve away. I guess it would only be a 3 4. This is a Liliana. I'm going to sack my Insectile Aberration, I think. Because I'm going to kill Liliana, it's going to make Goyf big. Dismember Tarmogoy, sure. And now Tombstalker. Oh, gross. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Okay. Alright, that's going to be good if we can get to it. Now I'm going to fire off this Lesser Storm on basically anything. Because we're not going to be able to go, like, Flusterstorm and this. Oh, that's gross. I hope still can't really attack as they're just losing this race. But... The Tomb Daddy. It's a good draw. So now we just kind of chill. And hope to land. Then again, like we're gonna snap this flusterstorm on off on basically anything. Even if my I think even if my opponent plays a cantrip, I might just do it for like the tempo play. Alright, now we're gonna get this goyf down. Solidify the board. And hopefully we can just steal this game with a Trinity Nemesis. We are leaning on our opponent enough to where they really can't attack. Oh, that sucks. But they're going to get that off no matter what. We don't want to see a Death Rite Shaman. But if they, they death right shaman us and we get to land, ooh, and we get but if we get to land Trinity Nemesis after they death right shaman, we're still in okay shape. Him would be gross. Though I really dislike him in these matchups. Like I think it's I think you should board them all out. Because it just like it doesn't interact with the board. And you just you have to interact with the board. If you don't interact with the board, then it's just like a complete liability. We have a 
another land from our opponent. So another Tomb Stalker. Okay. And Shaman. All right. So my two my two names gonna resolve if we can get it. I wouldn't mind drawing a push to kill this death right shaman, but then they just get it back, which is kind of annoying. Alright, we're gonna shuffle that. Alright, a decay is gonna answer that Liliana, which is good, but this shaman is gonna start going to work, which is annoying. Thing is, if they also get too aggressive with Tomb Stalker, then I can just go like decay this. Actually, this is gonna make this is gonna make my Tarmogoyf larger than the Tomb Stalker, and they can't. There's one instant, two, three instants, and there's two sorceries. So we're gonna be able to get. Oh, there's only one. But there'll be there's only one creature. So my opponent actually could go like eat your creature and block. All right, there's another Tomb Daddy. All right, this game's getting getting difficult. And Tomb Stalker's just insane in these mirrors. Shrinks it. All right, we're gonna brainstorm. All right. I think I just abrupt decay this. Do I decay? The problem is, is if I decay anything, they eat, I have to chomp. So I can't, oh man. So if I decay this, it buys me 10 chomp, 5. I don't know, I don't really think there's a very good out to this thing. Abrupt Decay this. They eat, I go to 10. I don't do anything. They rebuy it. I guess this just buys me the most time. Gain two life. Okay, I like that. Was it? I mean, I I don't know. Like, the problem that I saw is if like I decay this, him, gross. Get my nemesis and this. Okay, why should I have decayed Lily, Ibra? this back I was just trying to drop draw, draw like draw time you know but at least this is larger now so I can attack like this attacks through a tomb stalker so actually if they attack with both so if I can find a removal spell for this I attack them and then Polluted Delta. That is sad. Now I'm dead. Attack this. Block one. One gets through and they eat. Yeah, I think I was stuck between a rock and a hard place. I wanted to just buy myself the most, most time possible. And if I kill this, I still can't attack because my Tarmogoyf was too small. Um... 
I killed this last turn, my Tarmogoyf Boy still can't attack. And if I abrupt decay this and they gain life, it buys me a little bit more time, which is what I was going for. So, I don't know. I was in a tough way, no matter what. So let's return here. Let's get another match in. Came down to just not being able to play that true name on time, which was very sad. 13 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time. I'm gonna play one more match and then take the boy out. Been going for an hour and 10 minutes. Try to take him out of between every hour and a half and two hours. So again, if you're watching on YouTube, the video is going to be a little weird today. Like I'm going to break off the recording while I take him out. I'm going to stay live and then be back in probably like 10 minutes. Obnoxious 17. All right, we're going to ship this. Yeah, but I looked at the time and it says we had we had time there. All right. Um, I don't think we want this. Hopefully, we just don't get turn one. All right. That's better than a death right shaman. I think I'm just gonna waste my opponent, especially if they shuffle. If they don't shuffle, then I'm going to just play this, Verdant Catacombs. But if they do shuffle, chooses not to shuffle his or her library. So that must mean they have, that means they're going to have land. So I think I want to get to this him, this Liliana. All right, that's good. That makes me want to get to this him even more now, because I can force a will pitch days. Plus, he's just kind of sleeping right now. Just bebopping around. Flooded strand. Death Raid Shaman. So let me think. If I force this Shaman, him, them, get into Liliana, I just don't want this to run train on me. And this could, like, Flooded Strand makes me think he's like an Esper deck. I'm just going to force this. Like, this might not be right, but. I think the best way to win this game is to like curve out and slow our opponent down. And we can kind of recover from this two for one with this him. I'd like to draw days. No, I would like not like to draw days actually. I hate how like on Moto you can tell these people auto pass to just try to like um see if you have sixed. Alright, so I'm gonna get another underground C to not give them the option uh, to color screw me. Okay, so we got a Pyromancer, which is great. I mean, this means they probably don't have days. They could have a true name, which is like super bad for the home team. And did not flip, which is great. I feel like they have a true name nemesis. And a Delver. Okay. So now it's a little bit interesting what I do with my turn. If I draw a Fatal Push, I'm just going to waste them off the back and then push one of the Delvers. That said. Alright, I'm just going to get one of these off the board. This will trade for one next turn. Or at least trade for an attack. They had true name, they would have run it out, so I don't think there's any sense in going up. Just get one of these off the board, trade for something. No flip. No flip. It doesn't really matter if it flips, I guess, because flips to days, which is fine. 
So we might just clock me. No, he's gonna hit this Liliana. Yep. Then I'm gonna waste him off black. <laughs> Alright. That's gas. Looks like we're getting brainstormed here. I'd love to be able to hit this. Okay, nice. Decay this, and then it's just kind of like who draws the first threat. Okay, That's sad, but it is what it is. God, I love Abrupt Decay so much in all these mirrors. So I've got at least one day, one dead, one dud in their hand. I'm gonna play this so I don't get double dazed. Force, okay. Force pitch days. So we don't know anything. We're both playing off the top. He's. We have two true names. He is probably as one or two and we have one Liliana left as kind of big time draws it's not a big time draw we can daze a true name which would be sweet if he draws an angler that's going to be kind of gross Then we're just going up with this. Spell Pierce kind of gets me. Do this so it doesn't get bolted. He easily could have like a lightning bolt. He hasn't played one yet. At least our opponent has not played one yet. How could a light? Yep. Yeah. Just got one card. Probably another bolt now. So now we're, we just need to fade like young Pyromancer. Young Pyromancer would be gross. I think we're just going to keep going up. Snapcaster Bolt would be bad, but I don't think any of these Delver decks play Snapcaster in their main deck. Bonus got two cards. We are ahead, but those two if those two cards are like Young Pyro Bolt, at least they don't have black mana, which is good, but if we don't find a way to deal with the Pyromancer, it could be in a lot of trouble. All right, you got a, you got something to do here. That sucks. I think I'm just gonna keep going up. It's just like so bad if he has something to to do with this. Like, okay, then pitch the true name. Maybe I should have gone down. I don't know, because like, if I go down and he has any cantrip, then it's just like super bad for me. Like, I would be much more comfortable going down if I landed like a Tarmalife. Or just something that can block this. Oh, if this isn't, did he just top deck a true name? Of course, he's just making tokens. He drew he top deck an angler. So we are getting punished because, like, if we'd gone down, 
if you were to play true name or angler, we could have gone down again, and then we would be in trouble to the true name probably. This is all pending what we draw. Like we could easily draw a card that gets us out of this. Like an abrupt decay or a fatal push. Tarmogoyf gets us out of this kind of. So let me go down first. He sacks Pyro. And then Goyf will be able to eat this angler. He can attack through it. Okay. Go team. I'm just going to get this angler off the battlefield. And then crack in. If they have a second true name nemesis or like a Colagon's command, we could be in trouble. But besides that, I'm going to look to eat that true name, I think, as quick as possible. Because I think that's the only way that he gets back into this. Like K command back the true name. And like they're gonna go to seven. We eat this, go up to it doesn't change the clock. Cause we only have to activate this shaman once to kill him. So I'm in pretty good shape, I think. Challenge starts in an hour. And if this is a true name, it's going to suck. That's another brainstorm. I can just auto pass. I'm not doing anything. Here comes an angler. And I've got Tarmogoyf large enough on my own, so no matter what he delves, it doesn't matter. Alright, that's pretty good. So now I don't have to worry about K-Command, so... the green source so that they play their own shaman they can't gain life all right okay so we're gonna decide we're the same way we want the edicts the casualties the lilianas and the red blat liliana on the red blat blue elemental blast cut my hymns and then cut some dazes and some forces on the draw. Want all the removal. Probably look to cut more dazes on the play and bring in cards like maybe Thought Seize or Force of Will. I, don't know. I could actually cut these dazes right here and play these Thought Seizes. Is that crazy? I want to try this. I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to give this a whirl. Because, like, there's a, like, Days is only, each, each card, each card has, like, a similar idea when it comes to, like, they're only good in the early game, but at least the Thought Seize is, like, proactive. And it's difficult to play around. See, it's good. Yep. We're going to be kind of scared if my opponent turn one death rates us. But I think we're just going to let that resolve. They play death right on one. No death right shaman. Okay. If they daze this, I'm going to force. Pitch my ponder. Because it sets them back a land. And it's going to let us get our Liliana into play. Or get our true name into play next turn.
force your days. They brainstorm. Like, this is aggressive, but I kind of just want to jam, especially considering they set themselves back. And they're brainstorm locking themselves, at least somewhat. And this could easily get bolted. But if it gets bolted, they're not affecting the board at all. Ponder, okay. And then we're just gonna jam this Trinity Nemesis. They didn't have four next last turn. They didn't have another days. So they would have to find force or days off of this. I think, and I think that you, I think that my opponent would fight over it again if they could, just with force, because of how important, how like aggressively I wanted this. Not to shuffle. Okay. And now we're just we're gonna cram this thing. I'm still just gonna cram it. I think it's just the highest just the highest upside. I could wasteland this and play slow, but I think I just wanna get this into play. Okay. Then next turn I can wasteland and keep them off mana, and then just start clocking them with this true name nemesis. Death right shaman. So bad news for my opponent. Because I'm going to waste them and kill this. Yeah, this is savage. Eat their wasteland. Make black. Pay this and then clock them for three. I'm worried about like Deluge. Um, worried about Deluge mostly. And they're still two lands off Deluge, three lands off Marsh Casualties. And I'm going to just start eating this stuff now. Yeah, I think I'm still, we're just gonna let this, if this Delver flips, this Delver flips. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna, like, shrink their graveyard and then play my own Delver. I can always just decay this next turn. Uh, I guess Ponder. Now we just hope this thing flips. 16 viewers. I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out. Probe, okay. So they could, like, probe therapy me. But if they do that... Yeah, they're playing life to do that. Looks like I got your next play covered. I think that they're going to be good. I think that you're going to want to be playing them. So, in the new world. Um, I'm going to try to figure that out. Starting this week, I have an IQ at the end of the month that I'm going to go to. All right, so we're going to...